एन पी भी आई आर आर प्रफेशनल कैलकुलेट्स एन पी भी एज वेल एज आई आर आर फॉर आई आर आर इट डिसप्लेस द रेजल्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ द ए पी आर एनुअल परसेंटेज रेट एज वेल एज कंटिन्यूसली कम्पाउंडिंग इंटरेस्ट रेट एंड थ्रू दिस एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग द एन पी भी आई आर आर इंटरवल यू कैन स्पेसिफाई कैश फ्लो इंटरवल्स द कैश फ्लो डो नॉट नेसेसरी नीड टू स्टार्ट एट इवन इंटरवल दे कैन स्टार्ट एट एनी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम एंड कैश फ्लोज कैन रिपीट इन टर्म्स ऑफ द एन पी भी आई आर आर टाइम सेक्शन ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन यू कैन स्पेसिफाई द कैश फ्लो स्टार्ट टाइम एंड दिस इज अ बिग एडवांटेज ओवर सम ऑफ द एग्जिस्टिंग एप्लीकेशन आउट देर इन द मार्केट लेट एस टेक ए लुक एट द एन पी भी आई आर आर इंटरवल लेट एस से द कैश फ्लो इज सेवन हंड्रेड एंड इंटरेस्ट रेट ऑफ फाइव टाइम इज पॉइंट टू सो एंड रिपीटिंग फाइव टाइम्स सो वी गो एट दैट कैश फ्लो इंटरवल सो इफ वी डोंट सप्लाई द इंटरेस्ट रेट इन द सब्सिक्वेंट कैश फ्लो द प्रीवियस इंटरेस्ट रेट विल बी कैरड ओवर सो सिक्स हंड्रेड इज द नेक्स्ट इंटरेस्ट नेक्स्ट कैश फ्लो वी डोंट हैव टू स्पेसिफाई एनी टाइम इंटरवल दैट इज स्टार्ट एट द नेक्स्ट even interval and it doesn't repeat for example here and we are going to add that so we added basically six cash flows what is the npv of that so this is the npv of that cash flow let us erase all the data let us see ir and irr calculation by default the npv cash flow starts at period 1 and irr cash flow starts at period 0 let us say the beginning cash flow is minus 7000 Um, and we just add that, and then say the next cash flow is five hundred, and it starts at time point five. So we add that. So say the next cash flow is one thousand, and we're going to uh, say at point eight uh, and for a nine example. So we added that. Let us say the next cash flow is of two thousand dollars, and it starts. We don't have to say anything. It will start at the next. Uh, even interval. So we're going to add that, and we're going to add uh, one more. Three thousand, and let us see. If you look, look at IRR, we are seeing a negative IRR. Let us see, add one more um, cash flow, and let's see what the see we are receiving a positive um, IRR cash IRR here, and we are seeing IRR in terms of APR as well as continuous compounding or CC. So with this, we covered NPV IRR interval. and uh, we calculate an pv we calculate irr and we cash flow can st start at any time um, even at uh, odd periods and cash flow can also repeat let us move into npv irr time with this we can actually start the cash flow time let us say the cash flow is um, this is the cash flow start date we can change that uh, date if we would like to say cash flow is 5000 and interest rate is 5 And uh, cash flow date say uh, a month from today, and it is going to repeat five times, and this is going to repeat on a monthly basis. I want to add that. So say we are going to start uh, cash flow six thousand, and say uh, interest rate is six, and um, we are going to have the cash flow to repeat every quarter. So now. This is the NPV of the total cash flow. So let us clear all that. Let us say that cash flow is minus seven thousand, and uh, we don't have to specify interest rate. We are going to calculate the IRR. Say it doesn't repeat only one time at the beginning, and now we are going to say say cash flow of fourteen uh, hundred, and it starts say next year, and uh, it is going to repeat. Five times, and this is going to repeat on a half yearly basis. So the, we added the cash flow, and now find out the IRR. Let us say, add one more cash flow, fifteen hundred, and we are going to add it. Uh, see, let us see what the IRR. So we receive an IRR. So we cover NPV and IRR. By specifying cash flow start dates here, so we have seen how to generate NPV IRR both by supplying cash flow intervals as well as cash flow start times, and this application allows 
you to enter cash flow flexibly the cash flow can repeat it can start at any time with this i thank you very much